September 2023. The body keeps the score. Sigrid Lindemann gives us an insight into a healing therapy which can alleviate deeply buried trauma by throwing light on our past, be it from this life or from previous ones. It is simply not possible to go through life, particularly childhood, without incurring deep wounds and trauma that throttle our happiness and effectiveness. And when we factor in past lives and the emotional damage embedded in them, our emotional baggage seems considerable indeed. Fortunately, past life regression therapy has been helping millions to work on the issues that still hobble their lives. Variations of this therapy have been emerging and offering newer and deeper healing tools. ITR is a case in point. It is an integration of trauma therapy, energy work, inner child, work and past life therapy, a deeply healing modality based on integral yoga, as described by the mother and Sri Aurobindo. Catharsis 57. A deep pain in the chest. Many of us are familiar with the pangs of teenage heartbreak. For Nandini, these pangs were devastating. When she experienced her first breakup at the age of 16 years, a stinging pain shot through the left part of her chest. Much to her dismay, this became a recurring pattern. Whenever a relationship would end, this same stinging pain would return. Nandini got many ECGs done, but the results always showed no physical issue at all. In 2021, when she broke up with her partner of many years, the pain was so strong that she felt like she was experiencing a heart attack and again, the cardiologist couldn't detect any abnormality. Perplexed, she decided to have an integral regression therapy session to understand where this pain originated from. Past life regression. Through a naturally induced trance, Nandini recalled a past life in which she was a temple child in a South Indian village. At the age of 16, while she was serving at a temple festival, she saw a young man looking at her. Almost immediately, they fell in love. This was a very brief love affair, however, because the boy had to leave for the city soon. It was only after seven years that he returned to the village, seeking a bride. His first thought, of course, was of Nandini. He came to the temple to ask the Pujari for his daughter's hand. But the Pujari refused. He said that Nandini is not meant for the outside world. While the boy understood and left, it was Nandini who rebelled. She stopped eating and drinking. After three months, she ran away. When she finally found her lover, they both decided to leave the village. But the Pujari sent goons after them, angered by the thought that the boy had put his daughter in danger. Though Nandini and her lover escaped into a thicket of trees, the goons found them and stabbed the young man two times. Our past holds the key to our problems. When they tried to stab him for the third time, Nandini stepped in to protect her lover. The knife got stuck in her back, on the left side. She looked down at her lover and saw that he had died on the spot. In that moment, she uttered a vow, I will always wait for you, I will always love you, and dived into the river. The two most important aspects of past lives are vows and curses, we are told. If we make a vow in a previous life, then it keeps occurring in our future lives. To date, Nandini was still fulfilling her vow. Her most recent breakup was with a partner who clearly resembled a lover in her past life. After healing the emotional connects in the past life, she was able to release the vow, and the pain in her chest has never come back. Today, Nandini finds that a lot of issues have healed for her in the realm of relationships. This one session healed a pain that had been recurring for over a decade. Releasing an accident trauma, just as our bodies can store memories from past lives, it is also commonly known that our bodies can keep the score from accidents experienced in our current life. However, there is another aspect that is often overlooked, the victim can also lose part of their consciousness during accidents. We see this in the story of 29-year-old Lisa from the U.S. When Lisa was six years old, 
she suffered from insomnia. One day, she had not slept for two days and was exhausted. She was at preschool in the U.S. at the time, standing on a swing during playtime. Her young caretaker was only 18 years old, and she was pushing the swing for Lisa. The swinging movement began to put Lisa into a state of trance, and she dozed off. As the swing ascended upwards, she fell and landed head first on the ground. Lisa lost consciousness, and was bleeding very profusely from the head. She had to be rushed to the hospital. It could have been a fatal accident, but somehow Lisa was miraculously saved. She had ten stitches in the back of her head. Surprisingly, she recalls being back in school very soon after the accident. In an accident trauma release session, it was discovered that a major aspect of Lisa's consciousness had also been lost during the accident, along with the blood. In the healing, the consciousness lost was restored. Right after the session, Lisa immediately reported feeling more complete. But what really happened on the swing that day? What saved Lisa's life? Through a method called aura exploration, Lisa could sense whether any energy had gone in or out during the incident. Lisa discovered in the session that a protective orange energy had appeared at the time of the accident and saved her life. It turned out to be the energy of her father protecting her. A second green energy had also appeared, and Lisa understood that to be the energy of an acorn tree. It is this presence from nature that saved her as well. To further aid healing at the mental level and shine clarity upon the situation, Lisa was asked, what was the reason? Why did this accident happen? Connecting to her inner knowing, Lisa said, I don't feel earth is my home. The accident was a moment of choice, do I want to live or not? It emerged that Lisa's soul decided to come back to life. A deep healing emerged for the existential question that had been consciously accompanying Lisa since the time she was a teenager. Inner Child Healing Mostly, the blockages that we experience in our bodies originate in childhood experiences. Reshma, 28, went through much of her adult life carrying a sense of shame. She could not express herself sexually in relationships and felt a deep sense of shame when it came to receiving pleasure. Through an inner child healing session, she uncovered the trauma that she was carrying from the age of 16. She had inadvertently entered into an abusive relationship with a 40-year-old uncle. A child and teenager can experience pleasure and simultaneously feel that something is wrong when a sexual encounter happens. In her confusion, the teenager, thereafter, often develops a lot of guilt and shame. Inner child healing entails giving back the guilt and shame to the other person and retrieving the positive qualities that were lost during the event. Within the safe space of the session itself, not an actual conversation with the people involved, the person is allowed to express the pain and rage of the inner child towards the person involved, as well as the parents. Catharsis 59 Reshma connected through her inner vision with the abusive uncle and expressed to him clearly, I did not ask for this, you initiated it. You made me believe it was okay to do this. You were 40, and you could have stopped it. By expressing herself first and then sending back all the energies that she had picked up from the other person, she could see and sense the energies as colors leaving her body. Reshma then expressed, through internal dialogue with her father, her heard about the fact that he had often not been present at home to protect her from this man. Expressing oneself and restoring the energies, even years later, contributes considerably towards healing at the level of body memory and emotions, and clarity of thought is also regained in the process. As a further final step, Reshma called back all the positive energies that she had lost in this scenario, her self-confidence, self-love, and self-worth. Those energies are associated with emotional qualities and beliefs, and are often felt settling back into the part of the body from where they were lost, re-energizing them. This further heals and transforms, allowing one to take new steps in life. These three stories speak of the same truth, that the body keeps the score, as Bessel van der Kolk famously wrote. 
The body keeps the score either from past lives, from accidents experienced in this life, or from childhood experiences. It keeps this score across the different planes of our being, the physical, vital, emotional, mental, and subtle bodies, as described in Integral Yoga. Through Integral Regression Therapy, the light of one's awareness can be shown on these stored memories, such that they no longer wield an unconscious influence on our lives. It reconnects people to their inner wisdom and purpose, for a fulfilling and spiritual life. Integral Regression Therapy is an integration of trauma therapy, energy work, inner child work, and past life therapy, a deeply healing modality based on integral yoga, as described by the mother and Sri Aurobindo. ITR has been developed by Sigrid Lindemann, an internationally recognized homeopathy teacher and regression therapist living in Oroville for over 20 years. www.aurovillewa.com is a platform for Oroville therapists' workshops, professional training sessions, retreats, classes, and sessions. Find Yewa Oroville via Facebook, Insta, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Sigrid Lindemann, an internationally recognized homeopathy teacher and regression therapist living in Oroville for over 20 years. www.aurovillewa.com is a platform for Oroville therapists' workshops, professional training sessions, retreats, classes, and sessions. Find Yewa Oroville via Facebook, Insta, YouTube, and LinkedIn.